Right. Welcome to the KCB community call on this lovely Thursday. Um, first of all, as usual, uh, this uh, this meeting is guided by this NCF code of conduct, which boils down to let's be excellent to each other. Um, with that out of the way, we don't have any new attendees, um, familiar faces. So why don't we jump right into the topics and see how far we get. Um, Zik multi-cluster community call. I'm not sure who added this. I did. So I did on call with James today, so he showed me his work. And he will present that uh, next week on Tuesday. I think it's 6.30 hour time or something in the evening. So it's about um, which, uh, virtual workspaces prototyping in KCP, which can basically proxy like um, similar work to, to, to MJ, but proxy um, Communities clusters, but only a subset of namespaces, and still allow things like uh, cluster-wide watches. So he has lots of clever uh, ideas implemented to uh, create a watch stream for a subset of namespaces. So and this fits very well to MJ's work, and uh, it's another example where we might want mount support and support such a case. That sounds yeah, and cool. Just an okay. invite for Tuesday to join and see what he has done. Let's see if we can. It's on Tuesday. And the README says 9 30 Pacific time. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I quickly edit. And we can, we can use probably this meeting also to get a. An idea about uh, interest in API centered multi clustering. I think this wasn't a topic they, they really looked into, but uh, this is what James has done is in the same direction. KCP is in this direction, so we'll see when there's interest. This is this Tuesday, 10 8. Following, yeah. yeah. I joined the mailing list, I didn't yet got the invite from the group so i'm gonna do you have that one if i not get this one i'm gonna or i'm gonna sort it out before the meeting cool. I, I think it takes up to a day when you join a mailing list to get the invite okay okay so that, that sounds pretty cool it's it's using the mounts api is it, Stefan? Uh, not yet. It's it's a okay. virtual workspace prototype with our code. Ah, okay. Uh, I see. It can also run standalone, so it's not clear uh, which internal use case they have. But um, yeah, it's a virtual workspace, and it's pretty obvious how to how to use mounts with that. And yeah, there, there are some 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 details which might be interesting. Like, how can you configure which namespaces can be seen and um this is something to yeah to but discuss it, maybe oh, yeah good routing is done at the front proxy layer still routing to the workspace yes but then there's like uh, the mount mechanism if it's used for that purpose will then proxy to the virtual workspace and the virtual workspace will do all this this filtering magic to go to the cube cluster okay. It's like uh, Christmas. You need to wait for a week to find out more, like a week before Christmas for waiting for presents. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Well, this, one, this one's great. Um, I can't make it because I will be on vacation next week, but I assume it's also recorded. So maybe we can also share that recording then once it's done. Cool. Okay, should we move on to the next topic? Yeah, that's the mine one. So I was so excited about Stefan's PRs in a cube core for the generic control plane. I basically wanted to see it more in action. So I, 
I had a mini conference presentation this weekend, and I wanted to show this in the in the area of uh, the main presentation was about the KCP, but as we know, it's uh, for the people who are not in the domain, it's very hard to explain what the KCP is. But the people who touch Kubernetes, explaining what generic control plane is and showing that is a way, way easier transition path. And I basically take stuff on SPR, did some small changes to make it work, and we created this repository in our stack. I can show on my end, but this basically acts as a KCP itself. Where's my, let me share a screen a bit. Cool. So it's same pattern as in our KCP repository make to build it and start basically with embedded etcd kubeconfig gcp admin kubeconfig i might need to make it a bit bigger and you can do the same all the stuff what you can do with a kubernetes so we discussed that we still want to do some uh, code sharing for uh, api aggregation example some other things but i think it's a quite nice quite nice middle ground for uh, between Kubernetes and KCP. And to be honest, during the presentation, I felt quite way, way easier to transfer the message for the people showing this, like a sh short demo at the beginning of the talk, launching this, showing that you can create the service account, config maps, and that's it, single binary doing all these things. And I think it clicks way, way easier. And after that, you move to KCP. So, so I think it's a it's a nice transition and message delivery way for this to, for the future uses. So idea is to to keep some kind of opinionated way of generic control plane within KCP umbrella and basically maintain it for the people who don't need multi-tenancy. So just that, just wanted to share this out. I mean, it, basically it's a great way because we can start with, okay, this is a control plan for APIs and you don't need to basically say, hey, this is Kubernetes, but now you need to think about Kubernetes differently because it's not containers. So yeah, yeah good starting point. And as I said, um, the message was way, well, way more better received and easier received when you start with this and span out to workspaces. Yep, makes sense. Glad to hear that it went well. Yeah, the repository is pretty cool. I took a quick look at it. As you said, it's like parts of the, um, yeah, it, it's based on the recent changes in Kubernetes, right? So. Yeah, so there is some, uh, I pointing it out to currently to my fork because there was some changes in there which still need to be split out in a core. Like some controllers are running in the places where they shouldn't. I think that's a follow-up stuff we're gonna need to deal in a in upstream down the line. Yeah, any any PR welcome in upstream to make this possible. I think yours needs to get merged in the one generic control plane endpoints. Okay. So once they get in, we can start thinking like they will be built up on top of the ones, or we can try to split it out too. And one second, I can find the main call print. I can show you on the screen. Uh, 
to do one of those. Yeah, I'm struggling to find the right commit. We can. So, Stefan, is there anything now blocking on those your your PR snap stream? Because like I would like to point it to the real one. Just time. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Blocking. If you want to take over something, I'm not even sure there's something left in the. No, there is said that CMDs once and the one with a rest storage. Where we where there was discussion like how we want to load those things. Or oh, about the uh, I remember like this ordering problem where right? mm -hmm. you want to enable disable stuff but keeps ordering something like that. Yeah. Here we go. I found the the link. Marvin, if you can open this one. Oh, one second. Here we go. So basically, cube aggregation server uses services and endpoints, basically, as a separate controller which needs to be either disabled or moved somewhere. But I think that's the only thing which currently in a core which prevents a hard split. Because at the moment you just commented this out. Yeah. yeah. Just because like we don't have even even services or endpoints in a generic control plane, so we don't need it. But so yeah. Yeah, so if you if you can extract those changes, small changes, so my PR is still pretty big, I think. So anything which is smaller and can be merged easily or reviewed easily, please do. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find some time, maybe this weekend, maybe next week. Still need to get back to that context PR. Yeah. I think it's the same constraints. Time in a day is a limited. Yeah, I mean, if 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 there's no movement on this like next week, I can maybe take a look once I'm back, as I'm out next week. I could also take a look. Cool. I have another quick topic. Marvin, maybe you know the, the debate. Where are we? Is anybody working on it? Um, I don't have any details. I talked to Nabaroon earlier this week, and he said that he was getting back to it. I haven't okay. checked in. Oh, no, actually, that was last week. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. Nice. Maybe it was to, to ping in the sweat to get an update. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping he would join today so we could do a quick update. But yeah, I think it makes sense to gently bump the thread and, and see where we're at. But did we rebase the auxiliary repositories, like API yes. machinery? So all that yeah. stuff is done now, the core repo. Let's... Yeah, exactly. The Kubernetes repo now is the thing that we're missing and then that would need to be moved or like added to KCP or KCP would be needed to update to the to the fork to the new version of the fork but it's only the Kubernetes repo itself that's missing as far as I know nice quite nice Um, all right, uh, I can I can bump the threads on Slack to see where we're at. And then we can go from there. Just a reminder, a week and a bit, I think we can a bit left for the KubeCon US talk submissions. Time flies. Yeah, does does anyone plan to hand something in related to KCP? Or oh, if you don't want to give away on recording, that's fine too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it asynchronous. 
ganz gut. Okay. Do we have anything else at the moment? Don't think so. Just quick glimpse if we have any issues. No, nothing much new from from my side either. That isn't on the agenda. No, nothing, nothing new in the issues front too. No. Okay, then, unless someone has something for the any other business section. I think we're done with a quick round today. So have a great afternoon, evening, and talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. See you. Cool. See ya.